Welcome back. Your time is now 516 as we celebrate the all star game. The MLB is making changes to make sure all of baseball's best are recognized. Even the most passionate baseball fans may not recognize these faces. The likes of the legendary Leroy Sack are cool popping or Oscar Charles. But statistically, they are some of the greatest professional baseball players to ever play America's favorite pastime. Or the great Martin DeHigo, who they nicknamed El Maestro, the master, because he could do it all. Played all nine positions. And he is the only baseball player in the history of our sport to be enshrined into five different country's baseball halls of fame and most baseball fans have never heard that name. Soon these lesser known all stars will be further ingrained in baseball history. Recently Major League Baseball announced the organization elevated Negro League stats to Major League status. Bob Kendrick, the president of the Negro League's Baseball Museum in Kansas City, Missouri says this play is putting the Negro League story in the spotlight. The fact that Major League Baseball has done what it has done helps heighten the interest in this story, gives us an opportunity and an even greater platform to help people understand about all these legendary stars who overcame tremendous social adversity just to play the game they love. We're not looking for Major League Baseball to validate us. You know, we already understand the, the magnitude of this league. They didn't ask to play in a Negro League. They were forced to play in a Negro League. Kendrick says despite that discrimination, the league was so good that once Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier in 1947, Negro League players who entered the majors would change the sport forever. Willie Mays, Ernie Banks, the late, great Henry Aaron. These are some of the biggest names in baseball history who roots began in the Negro League. There is no question in my mind, had the doors open before 1947, the record books would be entirely different. We realized, uh, you know, some of the things that I have thought I know for a long, long time, I had to reassess. History Colorado Chief Creative Officer Jason Hansen says we're already starting to see changes. Was Ted Williams the last person to hit 400? It turns out, no, he wasn't. Um, Josh Gibson, it looks like, hit well above 400 a few years after Williams did. Kendrick says the Negro League story and the stars that played is the ultimate American story. And so while America was trying to prevent them from sharing in the joys of her so-called national pastime, it was indeed the American spirit that allowed them to persevere. And even though the recognition is coming decades later, these all-stars are now shining brightly as new generations discover their major triumphs. If you want to learn more about the Negro Leagues, there are two exhibits you can check out right now. One is at Play Ball Park, which unfortunately will end today, but the other is at McNichols Civic Center, and that exhibit will run through September 7th.